and uh, today we are going to talk about novel coronavirus and its implications and uh, its effects on our pets like dogs cats guinea pigs rabbits hamsters and all first of all i will i want to tell you that with this video is not to create panic but to create awareness among people regarding its virus and its relation to our pets so let's start the video firstly i want to Uh, to tell you that uh, many questions must be swamping in our owner's mind that uh, can dog and cat get infection from corona secondly is it transferable to humans so let's discuss this thing with a uh, few facts and figures first thing bird flu it is a uh, h7n9 sub type of influenza and uh, it occurred in china on only in 2013 and if it was transferable from birds to humans secondly uh, swine influenza h1n1 strain it and if you remember that occurred in england and that was also transferable from pigs to humans thirdly we all know hiv virus congo people used to eat simian monkeys so that's why that's how virus transferred from monkeys to humans and uh, the latest example is nepha virus it uh, affected many people in kerala in india itself and it transferred from bats to humans this all indicates that viruses have tendencies to jump from one species to another that's very important point which we should keep in mind So after reviewing most of our history parts let's come to the present scenario that a dog in uh, Hong Kong got infected with coronavirus nobody can deny from that although that dog is recovering but still we don't know that what's the fate of that dog whether he will recover or whether he will die or uh, he may be able to lead its normal life or not or whether he will become career carrier what is carrier carrier means a uh, animal or uh, a living being who leads its normal life but becomes a carrier or shed the virus throughout its life infecting others but itself he will become he will remain normal so what's there in our hands from all these things we came to the conclusion that till now there are only precautions which you can take to make our pets survive and live a better life and live a healthier life so the last but not the least and the most important part is that how we can control this virus from spreading to our pets number 1 pets should be confined in homes like us secondly no kisses to pets i am especially talking to those lovely girls and uh, those hardcore animal lovers who kisses their dogs on their mouth and never stops before that so keep in mind that this virus spreads from droplet infection so droplet means whenever that your dog sneezes or uh, in their saliva or something like that that causes the infection so try not to <clears throat> make such close contact your dogs thirdly try to avoid those food stuffs which can cause common cold to your dogs like curd like rice so that you may not get confused that whether it is corona or whether it is common cold so i uh, need not to give uh, food stuffs which uh, you directly take out from the fridge and all thirdly if you believe in rumors then avoid non vegetarian food as well if we don't give non vegetarian food for some time then uh, it may help it may not we don't know but uh, i think it's okay if we don't give non vegetarian food to our dogs for some time next point is that take your pet out for a walk only in secluded places secluded means where there are no other people around you know and uh, last point is try to avoid your pet's contact with strangers because you don't know that how the people's will react 
because if a person has just got infection even that person doesn't know that he has got the infection and if he starts pampering your pet and your pet I make you have enjoyed our video and uh, you have got few tips how you can save your pet's life and how you can make his life better so all the best for uh, these difficult times and uh, i hope uh, you will cope with the situation and uh, your pet will also come out of, of the situation as a winner thank you